been through that kind of thing, once you've been through depression and you know, you, you've got thoughts of wanting to kill yourself and all that, it's, it definitely makes you a, a stronger person. I don't want to be the granddad in 20 years' time that says, oh, I could have won World's Strongest Man, but I couldn't afford. You know, I'll be the granddad in 20 years' time that said, you know what, I quit my job, took a fucking risk, and I won World's Strongest Man. I want to be that guy. My training regime's very vigorous. My eyeball actually came out of my skull and I had to push it back in. That's, that's the kind of intensity I train to. It's 100% it's all the time. I'll get in the gym at sort of five, six o'clock and then I'll stay in there until I'm done. There's no, there's no fucking about. So the great Muhammad Ali said, I hated every fucking minute of training. But it was, you know, what you had to do it to be the greatest and this is, a, this is why I'm doing it. I've just got that massive, massive fucking dream that I want to get to and this is the only way to do it. And to stand there and to be handed the trophy and beat Britain's strongest man, I've proved a lot of people wrong now and it's made me really happy and it makes me want to go on and prove more people wrong. At this present moment in time, I'm here on this planet for three reasons. One, I'd love to hold the world record in deadlift. <laughs> Two would be to meet Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know, one of my lifetime heroes. I heard the crowd getting louder and louder and louder. Just as I lifted that weight, Arnold Schwarzenegger rocked up by my side, screaming in my ear to do that lift. And number three is to win World's Strongest Man. I go into every contest to win it. I don't go to come second place, I go to win. Be the world's strongest man, go out and be world's strongest man.